So, um, um, a while back I had this video that I did on the how to fix Kura or Slicer not connecting to 3D printer with Creality and the 3 or so forth. So I'll explain a little bit how to go around this. And then so, um, some people actually had some issue with uh, opening this file, AutoDetect build job that py so um since they're having some issue i'm gonna show you a workaround but this workaround is intended to only be educational to help you see what that is and then i'm not responsible if anything happened anyway so to be able to work this one around what you can do if you on mac it might be the same thing with uh, um, windows i'm not sure but if you are on mac what you want to do you go eventually to your you want to locate your uh, your Cura file, right? And then you would do as if you were going to do the normal process. So you want to show package contents and then let me put in a list. And over here, you want to open contents and go on the resources and on the plugins and plugins again. And then you want to find USB printing. And this is the file over here to modify, right? Now at this level, if you cannot modify directly by doing uh, right click and open with uh, text edit, what you want to do, you want to open it with a terminal. So um, I'm gonna open terminal. So to open terminal on your Mac, you can either come on the top bar and then you will see a uh, kind of like a icon, search icon, you can click on it or you can uh, do the command on your keyboard here, this one, which is a command. So you can hold command and space bar, okay? That will bring the same thing. So inside the spot, spotlight search, you want to type in terminal, right? And then when it comes out, you just open it. So once you have type in terminal that you in, you want to type in sudo su. What it means you want to access the root um, of, your, of your computer, okay? And then you type enter and then here you want to type in your password and then you hit enter after you pass your uh, you hit enter after you type your password and now you will be connected as root so what you do at this point here you want to drag okay the file that we need to modify you drag it in here and then you want to use this arrow right here this one okay so on your keyboard you want to use this arrow to go all the way back in the beginning okay that would be the simple way to do uh, so that uh, you don't mess up anything so you go to the beginning and then you type vi and you do space okay so that would be vi space and it would be the the um the path of this file so once you're done you type enter you hit enter on your 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 thing and then here, um, in my case over here, I already did a modification. So for the case, I wanted to show you what that is. Okay. Okay. Here, what you do, you just scroll up and then you type E on your keyboard to say, yeah, I want to edit. If you haven't edited it already, you won't see that warning. If you already did it, you will see the warning. But you get inside and once you get inside, we hear. So in my case, I want to modify this value okay change six to five so what i want to do i want to type on the keyboard i okay just i this letter the letter i once i type it i can see insert that will appear here now i'm ready to make some modification in the file so i will navigate with the arrow the up and the bottom whatever you want and you navigate and you go to the line that you need to modify so you navigate and uh, get in here so should be able to um, delete something that uh, arrow that that uh, um, mouse the control mouse this one that little thing should be after what you want to delete not on it okay in this case I want to delete six it has to be after six okay and then I will hit simply the back delete this one on my keyboard and it deletes and then I put in five okay and then once i've done so i will hit escape on my keyboard okay escape and now what i want to do i want you to hit 
uh, uh, column, double colon, okay? And then I want to do WQ and I want to do exclamation point. So that will be what? That will be holding this, okay, the shift and this column. And then uh, you want to release the shift and then go on W, Q, and then you hold the shift again and your exclamation mark. Once you have done so, what it means is that you are forcing the writing of the file. So you are writing like you are forcing the writing. Yeah, the recording. So you do enter and then that's all. Now, if we go back over here and then we, we just select the file and then we we click on the space bar to have um, um, a preview, you will see that here the value value has been modified. This is pretty much how you can now go around to modify your value for um, the printer. So anyway, you can do the same thing with anything else where you have difficulties or you can also uh, double click in here and then go to get info and then under get info you want to go all the way down and you want to click uh let me let me bring it here you want to click there is a a, a, a little like a lock over here um the screen doesn't show it but what you do is that here the read and write you can say here for example everyone you go you click on and you say read and write to give the permission so that you can do something or whatever you are supposed to do so i will encourage you to completely um you know do the the, the try and then see how it works either way will be um what you want to do in order to modify a file where you have difficulties with permissions and once you're done you go back you simply put back on the read read only and then on your terminal you want to type exit and tap enter and tap exit again tap enter and then you out tap exit again and then you out and you close your terminal this is pretty much what you got to do and i hope this helps you bye bye